in many areas, indeed severe gales in places and really strong squally gusty winds, mainly from a southerly direction up to now. Earlier we did have a weather warning out for parts of central southern England, the winds showing signs of easing there. And indeed across most of England and Wales the big change overnight will be the wind becoming much, much lighter by morning. The strength of the stormiest weather instead transferring up across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And even in southern regions of these areas we'll see the winds easing a touch by morning. But we do have weather warnings out for Northern Ireland, the central lowlands and southern areas of Scotland. Those very strong gusts of wind are round up into the early hours and lasting longer than that from about midnight onwards over northern Scotland and the Western Isles. And here it will be very stormy indeed. That's because it's closest to the low pressure area. That's moving northwards. A lot of strong winds and also weather fronts and heavy rain wrapped around it. Here we can see the wrap around of the cloud and rain comes right back in across Ireland. A second bite at the cherry here with that weather front bringing more heavy showers in across Northern Ireland, Northern and Western areas of Scotland overnight. Not just rain either, but sleet and snow, most of it in the west, a few showers further east. The main region of wetter weather though, moving away, at least away from all but the extreme southeast and parts of East Anglia, which will probably still be cloudy with at least a little rain around in the morning. We will see showers following on even into these western areas, and again, it's going to be cold enough up over the hills for some sleet and snow. In fact, watch out, because as the winds ease, particularly across central areas, but to some extent in the north too, we'll see some ice and patch and frost forming overnight, away from that southeastern region where it will be much milder. The winds easing in the south are still very windy across the north and into tomorrow morning as well. That low pressure will be sliding away, but it'll take some time. So in the morning, saw a lot of cloud in the far north of Scotland, giving a lot of snow over the hills. Uh, maybe some hail and sleet as well, the strongest of the winds there. The cloudy conditions with a little rain across the east, and maybe some mist and low cloud in these central areas. That front moving away, the low moving away, so then we come into bright weather for the east, lots of heavy showers in the west, the north, and near the south coast, with some of them popping further eastwards during the daytime. Main thing about tomorrow, not the temperatures, but the fact the winds will be much lighter. Watch out though, a new low 